Oh say why can't you see, God shed his grace on thee. Drop the pomp and circumstance and turn off the TV. You're allowing that anchor to drown your peace. See this world has voluntarily condoned this panic mode. Wearing that mask over your eyes, but it's not protecting you from being infected by rancid lies that are far more contagious than a virus and more dangerous than those who vandalize. If you were really woke, you wouldn't choke on your fear and hold your breath waiting for the next news update to appear. Your self-defined love is now just a narrative that has become selfish and hostile. The American dream is one of prosperity, and last I checked, that's a false gospel. It's a tale that we're told that riches make us worthy, so we study, work, and save to retire when we're old. For that house with the yard and the car, oh, I know you've tried so hard to be a good person with all that you've learned for that high GPA. The degree you earned that got you the job with the 401k, and now your kid's on the honor roll as you're clinging to results of every exit poll. But when you die, what does it show? None of this has any power to save your soul. gates of hell can impale our skyline, but they will not prevail against the church or the promise that no weapon formed against us will prosper. So I honor my flag, but I pledge allegiance to my heavenly father. Land of the free, home of the brave, but it's only the hand of God that can free every slave. He created us. He painted our skin. He gave us all breath that matters to him. A life that begins in the womb for every black, brown, red, white, in blue. Trust in his sovereignty, not these politicians. Party lines are important, but they are not our mission. Christ hung on a cross for more than this debate. He was sent to save sinners, not red or blue states. Every system in this world is passing away. His kingdom come, his will be done. He is the justice we crave. And although we fight to attain and protect our rights, I pray at times we might refrain rather than hinder the gospel of Christ. Politics and governments, corrupt and cruel, the Romans that crucified were wicked too. How did Jesus respond? Throw a fit like a fool? No. Father, forgive them, he said, for they know not what they do. I thank God for the soldiers who fought and died so I could say this. I thank God for a country that allows me to freely praise him. But my stars are the art of my God who spoke them into the infinite sky. My stripes are his that healed my wounds. My laws are his that show me my sin and singe my heart if I start to lean on someone other than him. We have a beautiful country, comfortable under a blanket of mercy and grace. But I'm a citizen of one kingdom that bows to God, consisting of every tribe, tongue, nation, erasing man-made race. So as I cast my vote for a candidate to serve me as president, I won't ignore what matters more, who I serve, and my king is heaven sent. Freedom is not 